All right, let's do this. Hey guys, so it's been about a year since I've played with NASJS, and a new version came out, version 7. So I thought it'd be a good idea to create a application using NASJS 7, a REST API for this example, uh, just to see what's new and provide a more up-to-date version or guide to the framework. And what I think I'm going to be doing is I'm going to tackle the GoThinkster real-world um, example app. If we scroll down, these are all the front-end versions of it. And this is the back-end version. There is already a NestJS Typeform uh, example, but it's I believe it's version 5 that they're using. So we just wanted to create a more up-to-date version. And... While we're here, let's open up the spec. So, if you don't know, um, I, this application is going to be a conduit, which is just a name, but it's going to be a clone of Medium. So we're going to be creating a blog, and I'm going to look at the spec. Uh, this is this is the wrong thing. Um, we actually want to go to the no, that's not it either. API spec. Uh, da, 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 da. Here it is back in specs, and we'll be following this um, to create our application. So we're gonna be running some stuff. So like it gives us a shell script to run test with, and there's also a Postman collection that runs in. Um, also. There are some strategies in here that I'm not super familiar with, so it'll be a little fun to uh, challenge, to get that challenge. For example, um, I usually use a different endpoint for auth and registration, but this is gonna, this is using registration for the root route, but yeah, little stuff like that. It'll be interesting to see what's new. Um, anyways. There's also the part of the video where you could click off and go to the very first video in the course. The rest of this video is just going to be us setting up the boilerplate of the application. So the first thing I'm going to do is check um, my global packages. So dash list depth of zero to see if our... CLI is up to date, which I assume it's not. And I was right. Um, so we, what I have is 6.14.2, and I believe we want something that's with a major version of 7, so I'm just going to add that. So dash g install nestjs CLI at latest. And that should give us the newest version of the CLI. Okay, so once it's installed, you should be able to run the scaffolding uh, command, which is going to be nest new, and then the name of your directory, which I'm just going to call nest blog, and run that. And I'm going to be using yarn. I just want to use npm for all my global packages because I know how to check for that. Um, but yeah. It does take a while, but after it installs, you could cd into it and log, and we'll open it up. Do, 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 do. And there it is in VS Code, and with all the files. Okay, so um, a couple things I'm going to do just for stuff uh let's check this is fine and okay so they give you a git init or so a git directory but they don't do the initial commit so we can do that i'm actually gonna get rid of the test directory so uh let's test and i will also get rid of the app controller spec file uh, source app controller spec 
Thoughts, yes. Mm, anything else I need to do? This looks fine. All right. Um. So I will. Yeah, I'll just do a get init. No, or not init. Uh, we're gonna add everything, and we're gonna make a commit of initial commit. And that should do it. Um. And I'll see you guys in the next video.